All right, I've done my PowerPoint over Winslow Homer by me, Ty Smith. A little about Winslow. Uh, he was an American painter. He was born on February the 24th, 1836 in Boston, Massachusetts. Winslow died September the 29th, 1910. Uh, when he start, first started to make his debut in painting, the Civil War was going on. Uh, one of his... One of the places he went was the front of Harper's. That was one of the places he went during the Civil War to take pictures. And Harper was different than like all the other painters. He was one of the ones that stayed back at like camp and took paint and did paintings over what was going on inside the camp, not going out on the on the front lines, risking his life, taking gory images and then painting them. Well, he didn't really take the images, but like getting them in his head and then just painting them up. Uh, this is where most of his, like, this is where he established his ground for painting. And then in 1865, he was elected into the National Academy of Designs. One of his paintings from the war, Prisoners from the Front, painted in 1866, was exhibited at the Academy shortly after the war ended. I don't really know how shortly or, like, how long it took, but they did exhibit it, and then... In 1873, he started to he started to work with watercolors. He wanted to try something different. So, from 1873 to 1876, he started this painting called "Breezing Up a Fair Wind." What this painting is? It's people in a boat. The sails up. It's real. The water's real, real choppy. It doesn't look like they're having too good of a time. But this was from what I had found. This was one of his first paintings that he attempted with watercolors. Okay, so Winslow was first, his first recognition for his artwork was for his paintings during the Civil War, like I said earlier. After the war ended, Homer started doing coastal and rural scenes, called it the peacetime of America. So from what I could tell a reading that Homer was tired of all the battles and he wanted in taking in drawing up pictures of people on, like in war, he wanted to do something that was a little bit better. Uh, in the late 1870s, <coughs> uh, Winslow visited the Houghton Farm in Mountainville, New York. There he did quite a bit of paintings. He did dozens of them. Uh, some of them were farm boys and farm girls working on the farm, just doing their everyday life work. Uh, some of the paintings that included, uh, yeah, included them doing the work. Most of his paintings, I don't, he had, he's a really good painter because he would do these on just small sheets of paper at a very quick time, like in a very quick time period. And all of them were done outdoors. He did all these right then and there. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. And then these, these setting, uh, this slide and I think the next one, these are the ones, these are my citations from, uh, from the, uh, the articles on the school website. Uh, during the 1880s and 1890s, Homer spent a long period of time in England, the West Indies, and Canada. So while Homer was at these locations, he created some amazing paintings. From what I've seen, they're pretty amazing. Uh, he had a base operations to where he would go. Uh, it was it was like he had a cottage on the Prouts Neck in Maine. Uh, his cottage was along the Atlantic Ocean. Being along this Atlantic Ocean, it gave him tons of opportunity with the rugged terrain. So he created tons of paintings from just the rugged terrain and all the different sea stuff. Some of the works he created at his cottage were Fog Warning. It was painted in 1885. It's just like some people on a boat and a bunch of fog. And then Eight Bells. It was painted in 1886. The Wreck, 1897. Right and Left in 1909. This right here is Fog Warning, printed and painted in 1885. This is breezing up a fair wind. I can honestly relate to this painting. 
I, have a, I used to have a great great uncle that was very very wealthy and he had a a boat up on Lake Michigan and it was a sailboat and we'd went out one day on a sailboat out there to go fishing that was we went up there for the weekend to visit with him and there was no storms or nothing and we got halfway across the lake on this sailboat it was a good steady wind the water got about as choppy as that and the boat was literally about the same size the, they ended up having to have like the coast guards come out there and tow us into shore it was a pretty bad situation then this is one of his paintings from where I talked earlier from the front yeah this is one of, yeah that's one of his paintings from there this was painted in 1876 from what I can take here this right this guy right here if you can yeah this guy right here he looks to be like the general and these look to be like the soldiers and he's telling them what to do uh, this was taken when he went on his peacetime thing to get a little bit to get away from the war this is one of the pictures one of the paintings there here's another one this one here is called the veteran in a new field let me go back to this other one that's saddle horse in a farm yard i don't think i said that name you know the veteran in a new field so for him this is probably a very good to him this painting right here means a lot to him to homer himself because he was on the front lines he was up there painting doing all the stuff witnessing what happened this painting right here this veteran getting to come home and be on a farm probably means quite a bit to homer uh shepherds of hofton farm it's just some sheep laying there's some sheep laying around and it's a girl laying in the grass underneath the shade tree then up here there's some more trees with some more sheep uh basically what i learned from homer is that he was a pretty good person i really did i read a lot about him understood him he seemed like a very genuine person and right here we have our work cited uh, the these three right here are from the bookstore not the bookstore but the VU online thing this here is an encyclopedia and that 